First, like to provide an update of the situation in the dormitories. All in all, about 10,000 essential workers have been transferred out of these dormitories and have been relocated. They are now staying separately. Throughout this period, we have gotten the very strong support of the migrant workers themselves living in the dormitories. They understand the need for these measures and they have cooperated, for which we are very thankful for. Here, I also want to acknowledge the contributions of many non-governmental organisations who have stepped forward to volunteer their services and partner with the Joint Task Force in reaching out to the migrant workers and to support them during this difficult period. One area which has been particularly helpful is providing emotional support through assembling a team of counsellors that are available to discuss with the workers any issues that they might raise. Now, because of the scale of the operations, this remains a very challenging task. However, we will press on, focusing on the workers' well-being. Now I would like to talk about some further measures that we will take in the dormitories. Prime Minister Lee earlier had talked about the situation when workers continue to move in and out of the dormitories. And when they do so, they are potential channels for cross-infections in both directions. And so we will now require all the workers staying in all the dormitories to stop going to work. This was something that we had planned for, and now we are going to implement it. Now, this new condition applies to workers from all companies, including those that have earlier obtained exemption to operate, but which MTI will now notify to suspend operations for this period. We know that there are going to be some adjustments to be made by the companies, but we seek the cooperation of both the employers and the workers on this new condition. It is a necessary measure to minimize the risk of transmissions.